Hi Libra, welcome to this channel. This is going to be your love, romance, and relationship reading from now through the end of the year. It is going to be general, please keep that in mind. I'm going to pin a comment down below as I always do. It's going to have a lot of information, a link to my new YouTube channel, a link to my website, and my social media accounts if you want to connect with me there. Right now, I'm offering a special for my YouTube viewers. My one-hour spiritual guidance tarot sessions are 125 versus 175. There's a code in the comment that you can use at checkout to receive that savings. I'm also offering $100 off my coaching packages. If you would like to find out more about my coaching, you can schedule a free discovery call with me and ask all the questions that you have. Um, essentially, my coaching sessions are for people who feel kind of stuck or dissatisfied with one or more areas in their life and they're looking for some guidance, support, encouragement, some tools, and most importantly, accountability to make those changes. So again, if you're interested in that, um, please go to my website and schedule a call with me. The last thing I wanted to mention is I now have um, Sezzle on my website as well as PayPal later. So if you wanted to um, get on a payment plan, it's interest free for four payments, you can do that. You simply have to go to the work with me tab and then select what you want. Um, if you simply want um, to schedule a coaching call or a spiritual guidance session and you don't need a payment plan, just go to the services tab. All right, Libra. We got two cards. Ooh, we've got six chakra. This is Archangel Metatron, and then we've got the Cornucopia card. I love this. Um, with the six chakra Archangel Metatron coming through, this is all about seeing without sight. It's your brow chakra, your six chakra. This is about your inner wisdom, your intuition. Um, it's going to be important for you to really pay attention to your intuition when it comes to love. Because with cornucopia coming through, I feel like your love life is going to be blessed, number one. But there are going to be a lot of options for you. Libra, I feel like you're going to be very, very popular. And so it, you are being asked to be discerning when it comes to love and who you give your energy to. What a great place to be in. Um, this is an amazing way to start the reading. Let's see what else is coming through. And we got two cards again. Okay. So we've got the healing light. This is beautiful. Um, I don't think you can see it, but this woman is holding on to this globe and it's just emanating this gorgeous, gorgeous light. Um, so very spiritual energies here. Um, I do feel like when it comes to love, you are divinely protected. You are going to be divinely guided. Um, if there's something that needs to be healed within you, that healing is coming. Um, it could have been happening over time, and you may simply just be noticing the results, that you're feeling more open, more positive about love and relationships. And if, you, um, if there's someone from your past or you're with a partner and you guys have been having difficulties, I feel that at this time, um, anything between you, any bad feelings, any pain um, can be healed, okay? So there's kind of two scenarios. It's like if you're single, um, there's a beautiful healing that's coming for you so that you can open up to love. Um, if you are connected or um, presently or with someone from the past, um, I do feel that there's going to be an opportunity for things between you to be healed. Now, we have this energy card, and this is planning in action. And 
So interesting energy to come through in a love reading, but you know, nothing happens by chance, you guys. It's like, if we want to change our circumstances, if we really want to um, have love in our lives, then we do have to take action and we have to create a plan. How are we gonna bring love into our life? Well, it's not gonna be by sitting around in your living room watching TV. It's like you're gonna to have to get out there. So if there are some groups or some classes that you've been wanting to take, I would encourage you to um, sign up for those and start getting out more so that you can meet people organically. Um, you know, the dating apps have their place. Um, I am not a big fan. Um, I, I do know some people who have met through dating apps and they've gone on to get married and they're very happy. But I, I do also know that there's a lot of frustration that people feel with the dating apps. Um, so if you're looking to meet people more organically, think about how you can do that. Um, it's really about putting yourself out there and just being very, very open. Okay, now we're gonna get some healing messages. So what's coming up to be healed? What is in the process of being healed for you? Oh, this is exactly what I said. Um, this is Mosaic and it, it says, let chance play its creative role in your life, okay? So I said nothing happens by chance, okay? There are no coincidences. It's like, and what I mean by that is you've got to put yourself out there. And then, you know, you can have these wonderful experiences. And so by putting, this is almost the opposite of what I said, but it's really not. Um, this is more about serendipity and synchronicity. Things really coming together, you guys. Trust everything is as it should be. When Mosaic presents, it means you have been trying to micromanage your life and your, view, your fixed view is limiting all the gifts and the potential the universe is waiting to make available to you. It's time to say, I don't know, and to break free of the rules and conditions you have placed on yourself or on other people, places, and things. Trust that there is no specific right way things must be or progression of events that must occur. Know that you do not know, okay? And this is good in the moment and that this is good in the moment and essential for the next chapter of your life to commence. So this is really about... Uh, um, <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me you guys this is really about um, allowing things to unfold organically okay and just putting yourself out there and just trusting that everything is going to come together for you as far as it relates to love now I'm gonna pull another another message for you so you may have been trying to control your love life through dating apps or saying no to introductions. Um, but there, there is a little bit of the controlling energy. Um, so just ease up on that is the message. Ooh, I like it. So this is from my Divine Feminine Healing Deck. Um, these messages are for the men too. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us, you guys. And the feminine energy, this is about being open, okay? Being open to receive, being open to receive love. So this is what needs to be healed or is being healed. This is wild woman. I love this card. This says, take me or leave me. And for you men, it's just an energy, okay? This is about embracing um, that wild part of yourself, that unrestricted part of yourself. And this is also about being very authentic. And if you have any people-pleasing tendencies, um, 
because you want to be liked or you really want love, this is asking you to be more authentic. And when you move into authenticity, that's when you're going to attract a lot of people. That is when this cornucopia is going to come in for you. People respond to this. And you guys, I want to share this story with you. I have a coaching client. I've been working with her on a weekly basis for about 15 weeks now. And about three weeks ago, she had a complete shift. And she is no longer afraid to be who she is. She's very much in this energy, take me or leave me. It's like, this is who I am, and I'm going to start showing this to people. And you guys, people are responding like crazy. Um, it's like uh, bees to honey or flies to honey, whatever. Um, it is incredible. Uh, she felt like she was invisible before, and now at work, she's getting asked out to lunch every single day by different people and they're, you know, letting her know that she inspires them and they've noticed a change in her. What is it? So it really does work. And I'm just feeling that when you move into this energy of being just completely authentic, just showing the world the real you, um, this is going to open up all kinds of opportunities for you as far as love and romance and beyond. People love it when others are authentic. So now what I'm going to do is pull a card for the overall energy for the remainder of July and then August and September. And we've got the Six of Cups coming through, the Six of Raphael. And Raphael is the Archangel of Love and Relationships. And so this is perfect that he's coming through. He just came through, I think, in the Aquarius or Capricorn reading. And um, he's known as the Miracle Worker. And we do have this Healing Light card com coming through as well. So I feel like these two are very much connected. I feel like this is Raphael's energy, the Healing Light. Um, he's providing a deep heart healing for you, Libra. And this says, embrace your inner child. Um, I love this because this is, to me, very much connected to this wild woman energy. It's like, think about when you were a child, how free you were. It's like, you didn't know, you know, you really didn't know anything, and everything was new and exciting, and we weren't yet conditioned. Um, we didn't have belief systems yet. Um, we didn't have many restrictions. And so think about going back to that energy of where it's like the, um, the child's mind. It's like the beginner's mind. And just try to wipe out everything that you've ever experienced in love before and start with a clean slate. Um, this says new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. I, I'm not sure about rekindled relationships here. Um, I feel like this is something new. I feel like this energy is saying, um, go back and embrace that child, but don't get stuck in the past of what you've experienced in love. Leave the past in the past. And we're getting another six. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, and this is the July energy moving into August. And I love this because this is a very balanced energy, um, and you are, you know, represented by the scales, Libra. So I feel like um, once this healing takes place, and it may have already taken place, um, you're just going to feel more peaceful, more calm. Um, this is a card of reciprocity as well um you know giving and receiving it's it's actually a very very beautiful very peaceful calm energy and 
So I do feel like you are moving into this mosaic energy that came through, just kind of going with the flow and letting things unfold the way they will. And this is like the, the July energy, as I said, moving into August. Then we've got the Ten of Pentacles coming through. This is the August energy, you guys. And what this tells me is that you can have whatever you want when it comes to love. If you have the right mindset, if you open yourself up to it, it's all available to you. And I feel like it is coming in to, for you. Um, this is about stability. It's about a dream come true. It's about the ultimate achievement. It is one of the happily ever after cards. And so this is just a message that it is coming in for you. And then we've got the devil card, but it is in reverse. And my cards never come through in the reverse. So I'm keeping it like that. That is a very, very good sign. Um, what I'm feeling from this is um, any fears that you have about love, anything that's been holding you back is going to be swept away by this healing light, by this beautiful Archangel Raphael um, energy, this healing that he's giving to you. And that is going to get you unstuck and let you move forward with confidence in authenticity. I love it. So not very romantic, but I, I just feel that you're going to be making a lot of progress. Um, and, you know, for the majority of these readings that I've been doing, um, people are going to be meeting someone or getting into relationships in the fourth quarter of the year. Um, so I'm kind of sensing the same thing for you. It's like this next quarter is about um, really, you know, working on your mindset, your healing, um, your belief in yourself, um, moving more into authenticity and getting balanced, okay? Um, really balancing things out. And now we've got the Six of Earth again. So the Six of Pentacles. This is the overall energy for October, November, and December. And this says gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Um, again, I am just feeling like you're going to be moving into the fourth quarter um, just feeling um, at peace with the way things are unfolding for you in love. And we've got the King of Cups coming through. This is in October. So definitely um, this could be someone coming in for you, Libra. Um, this is somebody who is mature. And it goes so well with this Ten of Pentacles that's coming through as well. This could be, this person could be your happily ever after is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, you know, this is someone who is very generous and kind and caring, um, very wise, and, you know, has really made their mark on the world. And it doesn't mean that it's a man, just take what resonates. Um, it is an energy. Um, but yeah, this is really beautiful. This is somebody that you could spend the rest of your life with. I feel like they are ready to settle down. Um, you know, there there could be a marriage that comes out of this um, because they're very loyal and devoted. And family life is extremely important to them. Now, when we look at, oh my gosh, we're getting so many repeating messages. Um, when we're looking at November, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. And that came through um, in the August energy and it's, it's coming through right next to the King of Cups. And so I feel like this person could be your happily ever after. Absolutely. So you could be getting into a relationship, a committed relationship in the last quarter of the year. And then we're ending with the Queen of Wands. And this is your energy. This is you feeling extremely confident um, very excited, very passionate 
about this new chapter in your life. It's like all is right with the world. So that looks really, really good, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this helped. Please like, share, subscribe, and just know I'm sending you lots of love until next time. All right, bye-bye.